Welcome to the Get Fit Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Slim Down and Shape Up. My name is Ben Greenfield. I'm the Get Fit Guy. And you know what? One of the top excuses I hear for not exercising is I don't have enough time. Sadly, we've been led to believe that in order to be physically active, get the body we want, or whip our heart and lungs into shape, we need to dedicate 45 to 90 minutes to exercise or go to the gym. But some of the busiest and fittest people I know rarely step foot in a gym or exercise for longer than an hour. So in this episode, you'll learn how to exercise effectively in 10 minutes or less, and you'll get three quick new workout routines. So here's why short exercise sessions work. In the episode, How to Do High-Intensity Interval Training, you learned that short, intense bursts of cardiovascular exercise can boost your metabolism and ultimately burn far more calories than long, slow cardio sessions. In the same way, quick 10-minute workouts spread throughout your day can elevate your heart rate, get you breathing hard, and stimulate a toning effect on your muscles without requiring you to slave away at the gym for long periods of time. So here's how to do short workouts. The key to exercising for a short period of time is that you must exercise consistently and with high intensity in order to get significant results. So for example, if I want to tone the back of my arms, my triceps, I could do a long workout at the beginning of the week that involves three to five sets of several different exercises for my triceps. And that workout might take me 20 to 25 minutes, but that would only address one part of my body, so I'd need to be at the gym much longer than those 20 to 25 minutes to work the rest of my body. But if I perform a single, exhausting set of narrow grip push-ups, which is actually a very effective exercise for targeting the triceps, I can easily squeeze that push-up set into a two-minute window. So instead of one long, time-consuming triceps workout at the beginning of the week, I would simply do that single set of push-ups every day. But remember, to get good results, I would need to consistently perform that set each day and make sure that I push myself to exhaustion with that set of narrow grip push-ups. So there are many different variations of 10-minute workouts or short workouts that you can do, but I want to give you a few of my favorites. The reason that I recommend 10 minutes is that for squeezing in a quick exercise session, most people can find a window of time that's slightly longer than that two-minute set of push-ups. And 10 minutes happens to be something that I've found even very busy individuals to be able to achieve. Now, for each of the 10-minute workouts that I'm about to describe, don't worry about a long warm-up or a long cool-down. Everything is pretty much wrapped into that single 10-minute session. And if you find extra time, you'll get added benefit from repeating the 10-minute workout two to three additional times during the day. So you might get in a full 30 minutes by the time the day is over, but it's split into three 10-minute workouts. So here's 10-minute workout number one. I call it full body burn. You're going to need one pair of dumbbells in a chair, step, stairs, or a box. So some kind of platform. You'll warm up with 25 to 50 jumping jacks, and then you're going to complete 10 to 12 repetitions of each of these sets of exercises two times, back-to-back with minimal rest, and then you'll move on to the next set. If that was confusing, don't worry. I'll walk you through it. You start off, and you do your 20 to 25 or 25 to 50 jumping jacks, and then you go into the dumbbell squat with overhead press to the bent side raises. You rest minimally, then you go back and you do one more time the dumbbell squat with overhead press to the bent side raises, and you complete 10 to 12 repetitions of each of those exercises. Next, you move to dumbbell push-up row to single arm dumbbell row. And then you rest minimally and go back and do again your 10 to 12 reps of a dumbbell push-up row to a single arm dumbbell row. And I know what you're thinking. What are these exercises? Don't worry, I have videos in the show notes over at getfitguy.quickanddirtytips.com. Finally, last set is set three. You'll do high knee step-ups to reverse lunges. Rest minimally, go back again, do high knee step-ups to reverse lunges, and then you're done. That's it. Okay, 10-minute workout number two, I call butt, abs, and thighs. And you don't need any equipment for this workout. So here are the instructions. You do this routine as a circuit. You just go one time through, You rest minimally between exercises, and no warm-up is required. Start with 25 bodyweight squats. 
Next, and again, I will put a video to each of these exercises in the show notes. You do 10 lunge jumps per side, 10 side plank rotations per side, 10 front plank taps per side, 10 lateral lunges per side, 10 squat jumps per side, 25 kickouts per side, and then you finish with a 60-second squat hold. Once again, getfitguy.quickanddirtytips.com is where you can go to get the videos. Okay, here's 10-minute workout number three. This one's called maximum calorie burn, and like workout number two, requires no equipment. You complete this routine as a circuit three times through with minimal rest between exercises. No warm-up is required. 25 to 50 jumping jacks is what you start with. Then you perform five push-ups. Then you do 10 squat thrust jumps, and then once again, five push-ups. And finally, you do 10 vertical jumps and finish with five push-ups. You go back to the beginning and you do it again. Jumping jacks to push-ups, squat thrust jumps to push-ups, vertical jumps to push-ups, and then you finish with the third time through. And that's it, folks. There are three highly effective 10-minute workouts that I guarantee you will get results in a very short period of time. Go grab them over at getfitguy.quickanddirtytips.com. And if you have questions about these workouts or you have your own 10-minute workout routine, you can share them in the comments on that page or you can go to facebook.com slash getfitguy and share your comments, questions, and feedback there. Until next time, what are you waiting for? Go get fit.